Let's put the finishing touches on our Overkill NAS. Yeah, this is a Threadripper 3970X, so 32 cores, 64 threads, 256 gigabytes of Kingston Fury RAM, an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5070 GPU, and six, count them, six, Western Digital Red Pro 12 terabyte drives. And this is all housed in the Fractal Define 7XL case because I love the fact that you can just stack a whole ton of hard drives right here. And the inner linings of the case are lined with this noise canceling material, which is wonderful. I wish more manufacturers actually did this. So now we just have to tell the network, hey, there's a NAS here with all this storage, come get it. All right, so from my very basic Windows PC with a 64 core Threadripper and dual 5090s, I just type in the address, the IP address, for my TrueNAS, and this is what will basically pop up. So this is the main dashboard right here, and I now need to go into data sets to give it an SMB share. So this is how we do it. In my previous video, I labeled the data set the Poets NAS, and now we're just gonna add that data set and we're gonna name it NAS storage. You see the redundancy there? Haha. <laughs> All right, network attached storage, storage. So now we're gonna say SMB because we want to be able to share this with Windows and Mac PCs, not that a Mac would ever touch this network. Yes, Macs do work and they're just, I, you know, I don't have Apple products. And then hit save and enable this service to start automatically. Definitely. All right, so that's looking great. SMB share is live, but now we need to give myself permission. Kind of think of it as, okay, you made a directory, but now you have to give permission for who can actually access that directory. I'm the only one using it, so it's gonna be me. So for in my NAS storage, we're gonna go down to permissions right here, and then we're gonna add the poets. We're gonna say add item, and you can select by user or group, stuff like that. So I'm gonna go by user, and there's the poets right there. Bam. Nothing really to change here because I do want to be able to modify everything, and so then just hit save. Now I see TrueNAS on the network, and double-clicking it allows me to log in. And after logging in, bam, there's my NAS storage. Now as a pro tip, I like to right-click on this and map network drive so that it basically automatically always comes up. So there we go. So when I go to this PC, my NAS is always right there. And now you see this 26 terabyte drive, which is in this workstation, can now have all this data dumped onto the NAS, which has 43 terabytes of free space, plus it has redundancy. So two out of those six drives can fail and I don't lose any data versus just all that data just being on one drive in this one PC. So that's the conclusion for this Western Digital Red Pro Super Overkill NAS setup. Thank you very much to Western Digital for the support for this series. More videos to come definitely because I'm sure you guys have questions. I have hopefully some answers. If not, hey, that's what AI is for, right? <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Like and follow for uh, more information videos like this.